Hello friends, this is Mr. Mano. This is the study of stuff. And these here are my rocks. I chose a few to show you guys here in this video. Now these are rocks that I like to doodle on. People sometimes bring me rocks because they know I like to do this. Sometimes I find cool rocks and I take them home and I save them and then when I feel like it, I doodle. I started doodling when I was a kid. Probably like you guys all did. And it taught me one really cool lesson when I was young. The lesson that it taught me was that mistakes aren't what they always seem to be. A lot of times if you follow through on a mistake, it turns into something. How do I mean that? Well, I'd start drawing out a picture of something that I wanted specific, and then I'd make a mistake. But then I kept going with it, and that little mistake turned into a doodle with cool, interesting patterns, like these ones. So it taught me that uh, sometimes a mistake isn't actually a mistake. It's just a pattern that hasn't been developed yet, haven't followed through on. So, synchronistically that is, a mistake sometimes is meant to happen to lead to something else. Now, keeping in that, this stream of consciousness experiment that I, use, that I do on these rocks sometimes actually helps uh, psychologically as my own little therapy to figure things out, to kind of look into the depths of the unconscious mind. Here's a good example. I was having this stressful day and I had a lot on my mind uh, about the future and this and that and I started doodling on this rock. As I started doodling here, I uh, time passed, I looked down, I was done and I saw an image that came out of the rock that I hadn't planned on. There's an eye, a nose, a mouth, chin and a guy singing or speaking. Needless to say, that was very insightful for me at the time. Helped me quite a bit. Kind of answered a question I had. Now, another cool thing with some of that random doodling that came to be was I doodled this rock. And a friend of mine pointed out something very interesting about some of the patterns on here. He says to me, hey man, doesn't that look like a female head? Long hair, pregnant belly, arm, and a heart? I said, I guess so. A couple days later, literally a couple days later, I found out that I was going to be a daddy. Went back to this rock of a pregnant woman. I wondered. Hmm. Anyways, don't know what to make of that, but there's one. And that's happened a couple times with other, other uh, drawings and doodles I've done in the past where uh, it's turned out to be something like a message about the future. <laughs> Anyways, um... I like to do these rocks and then stare at them before meditating sometimes and use them as my own form of mandala, my own personal mandalas. This is a new one. I started it yesterday, so there's nothing on the back. And look at that. Mother Nature drew first. And then I just, of course, you got to keep her drawings in there. So I just accentuate them. Here's another good example of that. Mother Nature just made a cool little stain on the rock. If you look at it, there's this side and this side. And I just drew... Yeah, this is not a doodled one. Well, there's some on the back, but let's not talk about that one. <laughs> Anyways, these are my rocks. I like doing them. I love doodling. And they really help me a lot. Uh, they really clear my mind. Great meditation. Great stress reliever. And uh, it's my own personal therapy. My own Carl Jung, if you will. He just sits around there and tells me about stuff through these rocks. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Have yourselves a great day.